This bear hunt is so exciting that Mel can nearly contain her excitement. I'm so sorry, but I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Auto Kirk just out here ruining jokes. So yeah, uh, I can't bear any more of these streams, neither can I, but here we are. I feel like we have everything down. We've got a good run where we can get like a whole bunch of bears. Let's actually write down our kill total so that we can see how many we kill throughout the entire stream. It's just a matter of getting the luck at this point. I, I don't know that we can do much better optimizationally, is that a word? Than what we have right now. So uh, as we have a level seven, six, and seven out here. We'll get into, <laughs> I saw, please shut up. We'll get into the, uh, the Houston. So ideally, you know, we get a great one early and you don't have to stare at the darkness the entire time, but let's not be delusional about our luck. I'm just going to be happy if we can get one at all. Speaking of being delusional about our luck, that was not a good shot. What's up, Gunhub? Mitchell Manson here. I woke up early enough to catch you live. Well, I'm glad you can make it in. What's going on, Hunt Cross? What are you going over there for? Actually, that's not too bad. We also got to go over there, so that is a-okay. Uh, this is going to be it. I promise, dude, I would certainly like it if it was. If you, if you didn't see there... Where did my money go? Oh, I must have been from resting. I had 30 million, I guess, until I rested. <laughs> Never mind then. We'll get there again. What's up, sweetness? Here, so today will be the day. You know, we've been waiting this entire time just for today to be that day. Good luck on your bear hunt. Thank for you, skill man. Issues. Accurate. Uh, best map for black bear. Never try to grind him. I mean, Silver Ridge Peak seems to be uh, pretty clearly the best. People have succeeded on Layton. People have succeeded on New England Mountains. Uh, Mississippi can be iffy, eh, that kind of rhymed, mostly because of the gators. Bears drink in a lot of spots that gators kind of frequent, so that can be problematic. But, yeah, as far as the locations the bears are in, the numbers they're in, Silver Ridge Peak seems to be the best. If you get a great one today, the Super Bowl will not be boring. I think it's going to be a good game regardless. We can get into that stuff at some stage, because definitely interesting happenings, specifically in the NFC Championship game. How do I get my first diamond moose? I mean, you could do it a bunch of different ways. If I were to say the best way to do it, if you're interested in grinding for one, which can be pretty uh, rewarding, I guess, to, to work for it and finally get it, I would say go to like- it's a bottle of water. That was loud. Is that loud for you guys? Anyway, I would say go to like Medved or Reventuli probably in single player and just start shooting every single bull moose you see. If you'd rather not grind for them, if you'd rather kind of hunt for one, single player could work, but I'd go to multiplayer instead. Same maps. Um, Reventuli, I think, would be my primary choice. Get back here. Uh, why do they hate me? Hey, Jesse, thank you for becoming a shoosty, by the way. That alert should work, but just in case it doesn't, welcome, welcome. Good to have you here. If you are not in the Discord, be sure to join that as well. Link up your YouTube, get the member role. Take advantage of that good stuff and enjoy the green name and emojis in chat. Still not coming up, so maybe emojis will not like us. That was a loud bottle of water. Why are they loud today? I thought the um, skill issue was loud, but my headset's turned up louder than normal. I was doing some classic recording earlier. And a little bit of ptarmigan hunting, of all things. Mostly Ibex and Bighorn, but some ptarmigan, and I need to be able to hear when they were chattering. What's going on, Mr. Freeze? I don't really get the Purdy hate either, Luke. I, like, I'm sure if you want to hate the 49ers because they've been good or the, if you want to hate the Chiefs being back again, I get that. Oh, my. Was that emotional damage related to Lions and Ravens fans? It may have been. Anyway, yeah, it should be a good matchup. Like, I... Are they the two most deserving teams? I think the Chiefs were the best team on the field all three games they played. The Niners may not have been, but they got here. So what do you say? What's up, bottom boy? At school watching. Well, don't uh, don't get in trouble and we will be all good. This lake has been lately the one that's been producing the best stuff. I'm probably, unless we get a great one today, I'm probably going to do a grinding video at some stage this week, and I do have a little clip of shooting something here. And then, was it Friday on stream? I think we killed a level three cinnamon same spot so it's sort of like the mule deer lake was back in the day every time i come here now it's like is it gonna be here could this be the one any tips for hunting diamond raccoon dogs god i'll tell you what it was miserable for me 
if, uh, so I did only in single player. I made a, I made a point of trying to get every single diamond on Reventuli Coast in single player. At least all the species unique to Reventuli. It's not fun to grind for them. It just isn't. There, I find more... Okay, but what if you died? I wish I would have instead of grinding for a raccoon dog. Uh, I find more raccoon dogs in total during the rest time and their feed time than I do during their drink times. Lynx will spook them. It's just, it's a problem. And they're so small, spotting them in the dark is really difficult. So if you're at all interested, I would go into multiplayer, south part of Reventuli, and the best thing to do, in my opinion, is weave between the lakes. So we'll uh, we'll wait till the map comes up, and I know I can't show you Reventuli, but we'll, uh, I should be able to at least demonstrate the idea. <laughs> Let me join that video. Sweetness, thank you for the 29 months, by the way. Good luck. Let's get that great one. Boy, would it be nice to get it out of the way. We've had a good time with Moose, but they've been a struggle. It would be nice to get one of the two and just be able to really focus in on one, because a lot of these streams we're doing half and half. That's why I wanted to commit to bears today, because they've just been nicer. All right, so uh, this area is kind of similar-ish to Reventuli Coast. If you're hunting raccoon dogs, I'd be doing this. Like, a lot of weaving around between the lakes. Animals, when they run near water, they have a tendency to run along the shore. And I just think because you're weaving between those lakes and covering more shore, you got a better chance of spotting them as they flee. How many kills in? Honestly, I have no idea. I I haven't counted since like around 5,000. We're way over that. 7,000 probably is a low ball estimate. Not a clue. I'm. What was the level 9 albino? I missed something there. Looks like I can barely see. Yeah, that's the reason I don't like streaming these things, but here's the deal. Great one bear's got to die, so we're going to have to stream them. We may stream longer today, we'll see. Kyla's kind of sick, so if she's not feeling real well by the end of this, I'll probably just keep it at two hours, but I'm feeling a slightly longer stream, we'll see. What's up, Ethan? Also, if I missed anything important in chat, I realized my chat was uh, frozen a second ago, so anything that was extremely important, feel free to let me know. I've already made the decision that I'm not going to get all the diamonds, I just don't have the patience just shoot at everything that moves. I mean, you could do it in multiplayer if you want to hunt that way. If you're primarily a single player hunter, and here's the thing, Mel has been talking about this uh, a lot lately. I know, and I've experienced it a bunch too. Multiplayer is a, it's a mess. There's so many hackers and stuff, it sucks. You just want to be able to go into a game and when you find something cool, you don't want to have to think like, was that legit or was that hacked in? So, you know, keep that in mind that if you do want to try to get all the diamonds and you're going to do it in multiplayer, keep an eye open for hack servers and all that kind of stuff too, because you don't want to be thinking you shot something legit that's not. But, yeah, if because I'm kind of that type of hunter too. I, I'll be honest with you, I don't mm, like doing so this like very much. Quitting. I kind of enjoy the setup of a grind. I don't like the actual, the way that you have to hunt. I don't like going to the same lakes over and over and over again, and just basically rolling the dice. I, this is not my favorite way to hunt. I can sort of enjoy it, but it's not the way I like to hunt. I'm more like you where I just want to shoot whatever's out there. At least multiplayer gives you that option of every time you go out, it's going to be something a little different. Monday used to be my most hated day of the week, but now that I figured out you stream every Monday, I look forward to it. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you, man. I'm, I'm glad to uh, help make Mondays a little bit better. I don't know why, like this started all the way back, some of you guys will remember, when I still lived at my parents' house, our internet was not good enough to stream, so what actually, the way that we started doing it, was I would join like a Discord call with Jaxie Beard, and he would stream to my channel, but then like I would address the chat and everything, like obviously through Discord, and for whatever reason, I, I really can't remember why we chose Mondays, it just worked for both of our schedules. But it's kind of been that cool thing of like, hey, you know, everybody's getting back to work and school. We have a little, a little something to maybe make it go faster. Is it just me or has it felt Those like forever? Some nice tracks. Want to follow them? Only if they're great one tracks, I'd like to follow them. Uh, has it felt like forever since the last map? Yeah, normally we get one every six months. They did not release one in late November, early December like they typically do. So at this point, it has been longer between maps since maybe... Silver Ridge Peaks got delayed a bit for console. That might be the last time it's been like eight months. I think they should add some kind of anti-cheat. I, Yeah, I think they probably should. I don't know what kind of significant investment or anything like that it would be. 
Is it worth it at this stage of the game? Probably not. I think they should have added it at the beginning. Because, it, you know, you add one now. Does it... Does it make any real difference? So much has already happened, like, as far as things that have been hacked in and cheated in and all that. Four to five max for Gray Fox? Uh, the... Weight estimate would be five to six. What's up, Jonathan? Fabulous game? What's a fabulous game? Wasn't Rancho delayed? No, Rancho wasn't like four months because it may have been delayed a tiny bit. But I remember uh, going to Georgia in June back when Kyle and I were still long distance. And like, I remember actually watching her play the map on Xbox. Don't think Rancho was, uh... oh God, we are lagging. Why are we lagging that bad? Hold on. You know, hey, let's talk about bitrate again. If I lower this bitrate, and we're doing a night stream, oh dear, it's going to be rough. We haven't had any lagging issues on streams in so long. We're still dropping frames, but less frames. You know what's weird? I don't think it's the internet. Stream kind of laggy? Yeah, I think uh, we're either having some kind of issue connecting to the YouTube servers, or I don't quite understand why, because... oh. Kind of coming back a little bit. Bit rate, he said it. Holy. All right, if I increase this, are we going to just start lagging again? Let's see. Maybe it was just a little blip. The annoying thing is now there's going to be like a huge delay. I think we might be okay. I'm going to just walk. Ah, nope, it's still lagging. Why? I wanted to do a long stream. Why today? Switch to Twitch? I don't think that's going to fix it. For once, lagging isn't because of my college Wi-Fi. Oh, dear. That was a complete disconnect for a second there. Let me move this over. So I can watch it more closely. Because we're just dropping literally all the frames. If it completely decides to hate us for, like, much longer. I may restart the stream to see if that helps. Maybe we get like a better server. Stream died for you? Yeah, we had a complete, uh, complete disconnect. F's in the chat. It's YouTube. Great ones loading in, if only. Yeah, all right. It, it'll probably take a while for this to actually come through because I know we're majorly delayed uh, and probably also laggy, so I'm going to sit still. I'll restart the stream. I'll see if maybe that helps. Uh, maybe. Like, if it switch, like gives us a different server or something, we might end up with one that's going to get a little bit better connectivity. See if that, that at least makes a difference. So, uh, I guess be right back. Okay. Connectivity is not looking better, <laughs> which is probably not a good sign. I'll lower this some. Let me run a quick speed test. Of all days when I decide that I'm going to do a long stream, this happens. This side looks fine. Oh, yeah. The upload speed is completely oofed. All right, we'll tell you what. What will make more sense then? Because it'll come back. It's gonna be kind of blurry, kind of not great. We'll go shoot some moose because at least that's daylight. And then hopefully whenever the stream decides to cooperate, we'll go back to bears. If we're doing a long stream anyway, that should be okay. If it's just YouTube, go to Twitch. Nah, it's, uh, it's, it's my upload speed. Please bear with us. Nice. All right. Funny enough, and it's probably because I went below the uh, upload speed, but funny enough, we're connected well right now. Everything looks good. But we'll do a, a moose run. Ain't gonna hurt nobody. And then we'll try to go back. All the transitions today. Get to use them all. Upload speed is 12. Normally our upload speed is like 50 megs a second, which is pretty good. Um, you need about like, to stream at the bit rate I do, you need about 8 Currently, we're around 7, which is why it's getting messed up. And then normally, you want double 
what you're streaming at. Anyway, what's up, Ian? Tuning in from school. Well, uh, hopefully your connection's better than mine from school. I gotta move my thing back over because the chat is in a weird place for me. Please don't go to Twitch. Nah, it's all it's all our internet. The uh, going to Twitch won't make a difference. Big moose. Blame it on Kyla's sickness draining all the power? Probably. Just out there ruining it. Hey, a bear. I'm gonna take that as a sign. Because there's never bears over here. Maybe. Oh, hello there? What? What did it say? It was a. What is going on? Alright. Well, there's a bull moose down there. I know that. Even though it said it was a bear. This is a great. This is a great stream. Everything good is going on. Has the power flickered on and off today? We've been good. All has been well. Uh, RJ, thanks for becoming a shoosty, by the way. There's that alert. Appreciate that. If you're not in the Discord, be sure to join that as well. Kyla has the link right there in chat. Link up your YouTube, get the member roll, get all that good stuff, and enjoy the green name and emojis in chat. Got my headlight still on. I don't know what's happening anymore. Oh, big male. I'm not even going to shoot that. It's still little. Why are all these... Uh, I guess because we came here in the dark, huh? That wouldn't make sense. Love that five-star moose on your way to the hunter. Such a beautiful mella. That one was... That was pretty special. I do wish I had given him the additional year, but... I was so afraid. Like, if I was wrong and he died of old age... Like I said in the video, I, I don't think I could have gone back on Aurora Shores. I'm gonna run a speed test again and see if I can at least increase the bit rate. Because it is possible we're just sort of stuck here. It's so funny, like, we have been solid internet-wise for a while. You have to try... Oh, now the upload looks terrible. Good. Have to try VR hunting? If I get a VR headset, I'll try it. The, the tough thing about it, like, as far as making content or anything like that goes, it's, uh... It's a better playing experience than viewing experience. Lag spike... I wonder if that was because I ran that upload test. It may have been. Might have been all my fault. I just hate that I know this is blurrier than it's supposed to be. It's a problem. Perfectionist mindset. It do be the lag today. Yeah, just add one thing to the list. <laughs> Things that go wrong when I great one grind. Saw the way the hunter moves. He was still cool. That's definitely been my favorite way the hunter moment thus far. We've had some good ones. Uh... Showstopper, the albino whitetail, that was an all-time favorite of mine too, but watching him go from 1 to, oh, I guess, 15 and making 5-star, that was pretty special. Are we still lagging like that? See, it's so weird because it's not just exclusively the speed. I don't know. I'm not smart enough to understand these things. I'm just going to shoot moose and hope for the best. Do I have a 22? Yes. I also didn't realize there's ones over there. We both need albino five-star moves to pair with our mellows if they ever add them. I am hoping they're going to eventually do, like, the opposite rares to the ones that aren't currently in the game. That was a little hard to talk over. Yeah, Nathan, we're, we're having all the lag spikes and stuff today. Hopefully we can just power through it. Eventually it should kind of stabilize, but we're just kind of chilling. You can get a camera mod for VR? What? Is, how does that... I'm trying to figure out what that solves. Because because most VR games, if not all of them, I'm not super familiar with every game out there, but the worlds aren't super detailed and such. And that's okay when you're the one with the VR headset on. Uh, because you're in, you're in that world. Like, you can get immersed in the graphics really easily. But for a viewer, if I were making content, it, that doesn't translate. I think Way the Hunter will eventually pass Classic as the best hunting game. Honestly, I don't see it unless uh, unless they change something with the randomness. The reason Classic is the best is the random spawns. Stream Strugs, indeed. This has been rough. It did start a new stream, which will be interesting for uh, those watching the VODs. Uh, we'll say the Wave Hunter animal management thing is so cool 
Once I upgrade my PC, look forward to trying it. Don't know if I have the patience. It can, it can, uh... As you learn it, it can test your patience. Ah, here we go again with lag. But, um... Once you understand it, it's not too bad. I'll be very happy when I get a great one. Yeah, well, I'd be very happy if the internet would work well enough to... T I had to lower the bitrate so much, and we're still lagging. Uh, that streaming bears would have just been a miserable experience. It would have been so blurry, it would have been pointless. Would be my luck. Yeah, I agree, bottom boy. You see where the Steelers are at least two players for- oh, Blunt and, uh, Hines? Yes. I was just about to buy, because I have the 93 Troy Polamalu, I was just about to buy the 94, and then I saw that leak about the Super Bowl guys, so I'll wait. Biggest moves, I think 300.5. It's a sign something has to go, something has to go wrong to go right, laggy stream equals great one power through. I say that a lot, and maybe it's just to like convince myself that I still have a chance, but with real life hunts? Rarely do I like, you know, every now and then, maybe we'll, we'll get a day where it rained overnight, but it's not raining in the morning, and I'll walk into my stand, and I won't snap one twig, I won't like, you know, accidentally kick brush, anything. I'll get in there, I'll climb up, I won't clang my release on the metal ladder, I'll get set down, everything's quiet, and I'll be like, that was perfect. Then I don't see any deer. And then other days, I'll, you know, trip right before I get to my stand, smack my release on the ladder 15 times and I'm setting up, drop something out of the stand, and I'll just be like, this is pointless. And then 15 minutes later, I shoot a buck. <laughs> so I, I tend to be a believer that uh, that can be a thing. You need something to go wrong before it can go right. Maybe today's the day. What's up, Blake? No meese down here at all. Imagine we get a great one moose on this train. That'd be kind of ironic. Oh, good, we're lagging again. At this stage, it appears to just be part of life. I haven't been able to play my Call of the Wild for the last few days. Uh, the game's been lagging for me, and the water is a mess. Yeah, the water's been a mess. Um, when did Bison Truax come out? There's been some issues. They fixed some of them, but there's been some issues with water ever since then. How you doing today? Doing good. Um, I was very much excited for this stream before the the lag <laughs> has taken over. Between so like we started this one separately. Between this one and the last one, we dropped like I don't know, eighteen thousand frames or something terrible. Along those lines, I think I may try a different approach this season during rut. If I can do all day sits, I'm gonna hold off going into like ten a.m. then sit all day. So I've only done that successfully, and I didn't even shoot a deer, but successfully in the sense of, like, seeing a buck. Once. The first year that I was filming, if you, maybe you'll remember, there was a big wide A point that came trotting in, it followed this young doe all around, and then it, it's the one that I have, like, rubbing a tree, and then it actually snort wheezed at me, all that stuff. Not at me, another buck. Um, I think that it was 8 or 9 a.m. I went into the woods. I really, I think I need to do that too. I'm just stubborn. <laughs> and I try to get out there so I don't miss anything. Got a super rare red deer today. Nice. What's up, Sue? Please look at the pick of Shadow. Okay. So, I'll describe it for those that obviously can't see it. She's laying in bed with a blanket all the way up over her and then just peeking out from underneath the blanket, like just her, from like her ears forward. You didn't put the, oh, she, so she crawled under there herself? Nice. Great one, it would be a great one if we could have our internet cooperate. Uh, killed a 265 fellow yesterday, but I messed him up. 
I guess the good news is with Fallow, they do make diamond pretty often, so hopefully you get a chance at uh, a little redemption there. What are the odds? Because I wasn't paying attention. Did he die, like, right in among those moose? He should have. What's more rare, great one red deer or super rare? Oh, super rare red deer. Definitely more rare. What's the camo on your 300? This is the New Year's uh, premium wrap. So if you played the game, I think between like, I don't know, December 29th, something like that, till January 8th, somewhere in that realm, uh, you got all the New Year's cosmetics. That is the premium wrap. What's up, Asthmatic? Did you miss me? Um, I missed the Broncos record predictions more than anything. <laughs> Honestly, Bomb Boy, I think that's, that's one of those things where I should just accept that that is the case and the access is bad and just go later. I just feel like it makes me, it makes me feel like less of a hunter when I don't go out till after light, which is stupid. What's up, Chad? I'm on my fallow grind right now, and today I got three level fives, one troll, one messed up, and one diamond. Well, guess uh, what would it be? One for two ain't bad since one trolled. Broncos gave me hopium worse than fentanyl. <laughs> oh my. My albino troll red deer was big sad was the rack that normally makes it. Those are the ones that like... Because I see a lot of super troll red deer, but usually they're that mythical rack that never makes it. Those are the ones that really hurt. I blame my dad for my morning hunting need. Can't kill him from the couch, son. That'd get you. I know, uh... I've, I've said this before, but you definitely like to get in the stand or try to get in the stand earlier than I do. And maybe I should change that aspect of it because, again, it worked in West Virginia just fine for me. But um, yeah, there's just something about it. Like, you get there after the light, it's like, oh, man, like four shooters went by my stand at 10 yards if I'm not there. What's up, Shadow Lord? Lucky for me, I haven't even had the chance to have a Super Troll yet. I just had that one Ibex, which really wasn't... I knew it was going to Super Troll, so it didn't make me sad. The Lions blowing a 17-point lead last night gives me depression. Yeah, I don't even know... I don't even know what the right response to that is. Like... In order to blow a 17-point halftime lead, you do have to participate in it, meaning... You have to make some mistakes for the other team to make that comeback. And the mistakes were largely either the decisions to go for it on fourth down or the lack of execution. Like, there was a drop on a fourth down, there was a drop on a third down that I think then led to either a failed fourth down again or maybe a punt. They, there was just some execution stuff that everything lined up to happen really, really uh, poorly for the Lions. Give a food plot or a feeder? No, I was going to get a feeder the, the year I shot my buck. So, like, baiting and stuff is illegal here in PA, but during the non-hunting season, you can't have bait and stuff out. The only requirement is you have to take it down 30 days before the season. So, you know, obviously, after shooting that big buck, I was like, who knows what's out here? I want to, you know, get a little feeder, throw a camera out, maybe see if I can get some sheds from them walking in and out. All that good stuff. And then I really got to thinking about it, like... The chance of CWD and stuff, it had just, you know, started to kind of get into this area a little bit. I was too afraid of uh, contributing to the spread of CWD by adding a place for deer to contact each other a lot. So I didn't do that. At my parents, we have a couple of food plots. I don't have one on this property. The lion's lion. I told Kyler that last night. So this was, this was, I missed the best part of the game. This was the worst part of the game if you're a Lions fan, but like, as a uh, non-biased party, the best part of the game. Kyle and I decided, so we went up to my parents to watch the game. Kyle and I decided we were going to watch till halftime of the second game, then go home. My brother lives like, I don't know, 
know, seven minutes from my parents' house. And he has a table saw down there that he needed help carrying it into the side. The hatred. I don't appreciate it. Anyway, I had to go down there and help carry a table saw. So in the seven minute drive, the 49ers made it 24-10. By the time we got the table saw and carried it into the shed, like right as we were crossing in through the door of the shed, I had my phone playing it in my pocket. The IU catch happened, 17-24. I literally turned it off to be polite, walked in the house, said goodbye, walked across the street into my truck, plugged my phone back in to play it through the truck speakers, and Kevin Burkhardt saying it's tied because there was the Gibbs fumble. It was like... Just so much happened negatively for the for the Lions. Uh, Rolando, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you here. If you're not in the Discord, be sure to join that as well. Link up your YouTube. Get the member role. Take advantage of that good stuff and enjoy the green name and emojis here in chat. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the Steve McNair card. I'm sure that's uh, got to go on the theme team. Oh, there we go. Decent four. Mahomes about to throw a 17 interception and retire just because? That seems likely. Was gonna fall asleep with the stream on, but those notifications say differently. Yeah, the, uh... Some of the Twitch alerts that for no reason play through YouTube are a little loud. What's up, Aiden? Anything cool? Uh, we've just been lagging a lot. So, we were supposed to be grinding bears. The lag has made it so that we have to lower the bitrate. Meaning, it, especially at night, it's just blurrier. And I thought that was a pointless venture to stream blurry, already hard to see things. So we're after Moose. We're hoping the internet speeds will recover and I'll be able to go back to Bears. But for now, we're just here trying to, trying to make the most of it. <laughs> you know who doesn't lose that lead? The Cowboys, because they wouldn't have had it in the... Wait, they would never have had it. Hashtag Big Brain. I thought there was a first place in there. Don't worry, the Steelers wouldn't have either. This is a rematch of the 2019 Super Bowl. 2020 was Brady. Kermit Mahomes is overrated. It's not easy being quarterback. That wasn't good. The little stream that could. I'm just watching the drop frames number. If we make it like, I don't know, 10 or 20 minutes and it stays. Eh, and we're dropping frames. <laughs> I was going to go back to Bears. We might be stuck with Moose all day. Who knows? What was that? It was Carmen. What do you mean? That was Aaron. <laughs> uh, I think Tyler was the one that came up with it. One time I was doing a 24-hour stream and Aaron was there with me and somebody said, is that depressed? Or Tyler said, is that depressed Kermit with you? What's up, JTAC? Zeke Elliott for the win. He is an elite center on last second plays. Can't say overrated with those receivers. Yeah, Kelsey, that one play, by the way, where Mahomes scrambled around, I think it was like for eight seconds or something, then just sort of threw this lame duck of a lob up to Kelsey and he made that diving catch. That was pretty incredible. Obviously, Kelsey's really good, but his receiving core is... Uh, compare the receiving cores of the two teams in the Super Bowl. That'll tell you what you need to know. Buccaneer Charger? Vincent Jackson. Isn't he the guy that just passed away? I think Vincent Jackson was a buck. Uh, do you s probably sometimes just sit there and watch the animal's interesting behavior? less in this game now because I have so many hours in it. When I first started, I did that a lot. I find myself doing it mostly in Way of the Hunter because there are little animal interactions, but I swear Classic has the best. Like, two wolves interacting together in Classic is some of the best of any game. Now, Call of the Wild does have that too, but there's some Classic ones that I, I wish Call of the Wild implemented. What are your honest thoughts on Brock Purdy? I think Brock Purdy is I'm trying to think of a good example. Like uh 
sort of like Kirk Cousins, but with the clutch gene. He, the clutchness has shown up the last couple of weeks. You know, is he going to be the reason you win all the time? No. But you can absolutely win with him. And now, you know, a couple of these plays and drives here the last couple of games, you can win because of him, too. He's pretty okay. Yikes. Wolves scare me in Call of the Wild. The thing about him is how quickly they can come out of nowhere and just kill you before you're ready. Why do you prefer multiplayer over single player? So, like, the reason I do so many, like, videos in multiplayer is pretty much the, uh, the complete aspect of the unknown. So, if you're unfamiliar with how Call of the Wild works, all the animals on your map are, like, you have a population file, and that means all the animals on your map are the same from hunt to hunt. So, you know, if I, if I were to close the game right now, and then start it up again. Everything on my Medved map would be the exact same. Like, this female moose would be there. Uh, those other female moose that ran away would be there. The only changes are the animals that replace the things that I've shot. So, in case you didn't know, that's kind of how, like, respawns and all that work. In multiplayer, everything there is at least new to me. And that's a more interesting experience. Like, I'd rather go to a map where everything is completely new. There's two sides of it, too. One is... It at least helps to remove the chance that I staged the video. And by that, I mean, you know, I'm not saying anybody does this, but it's just something I think of in my head. Like, uh, I've... 24-hour streams. A couple of times, I started the stream with a diamond or bus challenge. And I would not... Like, we'd play Call of the Wild for six hours, eight hours... 45 minutes, whatever it had to be, until we would get a diamond. And I, so that I couldn't have gone on the single player, found a diamond, and then just went and shot that on stream so that we could go and do something else. Multiplayer is kind of that same thing for videos. It's not as if, you know, I, I have a super air just waiting and then we can go find it for the video, right? I actually got to go and hunt in multiplayer. And the reason I, that's not perfect is because I guess in theory, if I knew all those people whose servers I was joining, that could be staged, but I can tell you I don't. <laughs> but uh, the, the main part of it is just the the unknown. What do they call an owl with a sore throat? A bird that doesn't give a hoot? Speaking of owls, I went uh, squirrel hunting with my dad and brother on Saturday. I went and sat in a spot. I was probably there for like five minutes. And I, all of a sudden I hear all these crows like carrying on. I'm like, geez, those are loud. They were chasing an owl and it literally landed directly above me. Like, sat there for an hour. Even though I was moving around and stuff. Because it was so directly above me, it couldn't see me. <laughs> Sitting right underneath it. It was kind of cool. Looks like I'm watching Pong. What, do we lag again? Looks like we did. The NFL knows I'm a religiously watch Sunday Night Football. Is that what you mean? No matter what. So they're shoving this Taylor Swift stuff down our throat for the audience they don't have. I don't... Maybe? I guess maybe they want to, like, placate the people who are only watching for Taylor Swift. I don't know why it matters. Like, who cares? When, uh... Who was that? It, may, it might have been Purdy's parents. No, it was Josh Dobbs' parents. When he was like the story of the NFL in the middle of the season. Every time Josh Dobbs would throw a touchdown, they'd show his parents and his dad would be sitting there looking completely unenthused. It was hilarious. I think they wanted him to be the rocket scientist and not the quarterback. <laughs> but um, it's, it's fairly normal. It just happens to be more high profile. Do you have any squirrels? I didn't. Uh, my brother and dad each got one. I brought a shotgun because I thought... You know, with my luck, I'll never hit one, you know, scurrying through the woods with a 22. And naturally, they each had, my dad had a 17, my brother had a 22. I see a squirrel like 80 yards away, they each shoot one with their rimfire rifle at like 10 yards. This lag is getting really annoying. What did I miss? Mostly lag. 
Uh, th th for whatever reason, the internet's just not feeling it today. Which is gonna suck, because we're gonna end up only streaming for two hours, and I wanted to do longer than that. But I suppose it is what it is. Advice on trying to get a diamond of every animal. Um, you could do it in two different ways. The way that I would personally do it is to not get too bogged down chasing one particular species. So like, you know, let's say you're starting with zero diamonds, right? Maybe hunt on Leighton for a week, then hunt on Hirschfelden for a week. Like, don't make, you know, don't hunt a map so much you're going to get bored of it, or don't hunt a species so much you're going to get bored of it. And slowly but surely, as you hunt these maps, you're going to check off some diamonds. You might get a diamond whitetail, and a diamond moose, and a diamond, who knows, coyote, something like that. That can be a real pain to hunt for, you might stumble into one while hunting something else. That's how I would try to do it. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to get every diamond on Leighton before you consider moving to Hirschfelden or something like that. But, you know, spend some time on every map. And then, as you start to cross species off the list, you know, you might have, uh, who knows, let's say you have just Whitetail left over from Leighton, and from Parquet you don't have a Mule Deer, and from, uh, Trying to think of something that's going to work here from Quattro Colinas and Hirschfeld and you don't have a pheasant. Rancho has all three of those and then you go to Rancho. That's how I would approach it. Oh god, diamond caribou advice. I'm terrible with caribou. Uh, I'd almost say you're better off grinding for them because they troll so often. I would do it in single player. I'd set it to their drink time. I think it's 5 to 9 a.m. And they're all over the east side of the map. But there's also some on, on the west. I would just shoot as many bulls as I can. That's why I don't watch NFL no more. I'm here for the big burly guys shoving each other, not ads getting shoved down my throat, and some girls singing every game. I mean, it's, I guess it's not for everybody, but... I don't pay any attention to the... opinions of the... NFL or the ads or whatever they're trying to promote. I'm just going to watch the game. For the diamond of each animal, should I do my own map or multiplayer? I think a multiplayer will probably... I mean, you, I would do a combination, basically. You know. Hunt your own maps first. Like, if you have maps especially that you haven't hunted very much, I would definitely check those first. Because you have control over that. You can you can change the time like, God, I need a diamond black bear so bad. Well, let me make it black bear drink time. As opposed to hunting in multiplayer and having to hunt their feed times and stuff. That's probably one place where it would be really good to hunt a uh, single player. But, again, I was saying earlier, multiplayer gives you that complete aspect of the unknown because you don't know what's out there. And I think that's a... It's a more replayable experience, a less boring experience. So I, I would try to find a balance to do both. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Uh, I guess at the risk of spoiling my uh, picks video in a couple of weeks when I do the Super Bowl pick, my current thought... Uh, that's going to get away. I think that's a different variant in the common. Anyway, my current thought is when I look at the two games the 49ers played, arguably they weren't the better team on the field in either one of them. They probably should have lost to the Packers. They definitely should have lost to the Lions. If both those NFC North teams didn't do things to shoot themselves in the foot, the 49ers wouldn't have made it out of the divisional round. The Chiefs have arguably, arguably been the best team on the field in all three of the games they played in the playoffs. I wouldn't even say arguably. They were... Definitely better than the uh, Dolphins. I would say they were definitely better than the Ravens. The Bills, it was close. So I'm probably going to pick the Chiefs because they've played more consistent ball for three weeks now. Uh, I would just say don't overlook the fact that the 49ers just made two comebacks. Because that, that matters. 
are initial spawn great ones definitely no longer a thing? Because I was of the opinion that they weren't for so long, but then, like, once a week somebody says they find one, to the point that you go like, well, someone here probably did find one. You Like, the first bunch of times I was like, okay, you shot a moose, and you got really lucky, and your first respawn happened to be a great one. It probably wasn't an initial spawn, because there were... It was kind of clear that they had removed initial spawns for a while. I just thought they've added them back because so many people say they got them. You know what, though? Maybe... Here's an angle I didn't think of. Um, if you hack in a great one, a really convenient excuse is that it's an initial spawn. So maybe that's all that is. Maybe there's more people being dishonest than I had considered. I feel like the Chiefs had the Bills and Ravens shoot themselves. I, I don't think the Bills did. I mean, yeah, I'm missing the field goal. But do I realistically think the Chiefs wouldn't have drove down and either kicked a game-winning field goal or even if the Bills scored a touchdown? Because remember Josh Allen went long there with maybe two and a half minutes left. Uh, had they scored a touchdown there, do I think the Chiefs wouldn't have gone down and scored a game-winner? No, I think they would have. The Ravens did some dumb stuff, but I think the Chiefs' defense played exactly how you're supposed to play Lamar. That's how you make him do dumb stuff. The refs suck at fourth down calls in the 49ers games? What happened? Uh, did something happen in the game yesterday? I'm not aware of a ref controversy. We sure do have a lot of tiny moose on this map. Nope. No fleeing for you. Flant, you're not reading my jokes? I'm sorry. I'm so worried about like the lag and everything. I'm trying to keep track of what's going on. What do you call a Chiefs player with a Super Bowl ring? A thief? I don't... What's the joke? <laughs> Is Hogwarts Legacy the game that, uh, yeah, that's the one, right? It's fairly new. Greetings from London. Welcome on in, man. Hope you're having a good day. Good, uh, what? Probably night for, like, 9 o'clock for you, I think. Packers had it in the ref spot of the ball, like, a yard back from where it actually was. Okay, I think I remember the one you're talking about. I'm still not convinced that he had the first down, but it was close. And, like, it was a bad spot for sure. I don't know if that... Does that ultimately swing the game? Probably. I don't know. It's so tough. Ravens only running eight times is a problem, too. It was not their best game plan. Dan Campbell kicks a field goal instead of risking on fourth down. They probably win. You're talking about the early one, right? Because I'm actually okay with them going forward on fourth down with like whatever it was, seven minutes left, um, where they were down three. Because I do think if you kick a game tying field goal, you're running a pretty big risk that the Niners bleed the rest of the clock and then just kick a game winner with no time left. I'm okay with trying to go up four there. The first one where they could have gone back up 17, that that was the wrong call. I'm a sucker for a big map. I, I do like big maps myself, I cannot lie. Get it. Hard to run the ball when you're down all game? They weren't down enough to warrant completely abandoning it though, you know? It might have been like, what, 17-7? I think that was the worst they were ever down. That's not a, you know... When you run as well as the Ravens, that's not insurmountable. How many 22 rounds to kill a great one? That's going to have to be a question somebody that gets more great ones than me will answer. Because I'm not about to find that one out. I had a dream, though. Um, I forget if it was... It must have been a great one bear. Uh, that I did do that with the 22. But it was a single shot. because, And I know what it was a dream reference to, if that makes sense. Uh... A while back, it was possible to 
if a bear was standing on its hind legs, shoot it directly in the heart with the 22 and basically insta-kill it. And I even did it one time on stream. But back then, integrity worked different. It was actually even ethical, but obviously now you can't do that. Can't be down 10 with 4 minutes left and not take the points. Uh, is this where Lamar threw the interception? I'm... I can't remember them not taking the points other than that. Did your eyes ever get fried from playing? But if you I, lose your emotional that was funny. Balance, emotional balance, emotional balance, emotional balance. If you close your eyes, what are the odds? This game, no. I don't know why. I think it's because it doesn't require as uh, non-stop attention as some other games. Like if I if I spend two or three hours playing Madden, and it doesn't have to be a competitive game, but Madden's one that gets me. Uh, that'll that'll uh, strain my eyes. Planet Zoo always would get me. That one strains my eyes. I don't remember Farming Sim doing it, and none of the hunting games do it because I think you can just like you spend enough time looking away. You know, when I'm streaming, I'm looking at my chat and stuff all the time. As long as you're, I believe you're supposed to like, every 10 minutes or something, when you're looking at a screen up close, I think you're supposed to look at something at least 10 feet away. I, whether it's looking out my window to like make sure whatever's going on outside, because I can see my driveway from here. Like I'm always looking around playing this game, but Madden, especially because it's a competitive thing when I'm playing, I'm like locked in and I'll, I won't even know it. And then, like, I'll play for a couple hours and I'll get up and I'll walk past the bathroom mirror and be like, sheesh, my eyes are red. <laughs> I gotta stop. Are you saying Call of Duty would hurt my eyes? If that's what you're saying, yes, definitely. Remember the day is a consecutive harvest and quick kill? Much better the way it is now? I think quick kill was a good thing. Consecutive harvest was a problem because that was unpredictable. Quick kill, to me, like, yes, yeah, spine shots and stuff weren't good. There needed to be, like, a quick kill and a vital check. I think that's the ultimate. Because here's the thing. Diamonds now, and this goes back years, diamonds aren't looked at as being as special as they once were. But, uh... That was eroding away for a while. I think especially when they uh, they removed quick kill, it became so much harder to mess up a diamond because there were some, actually a lot, where single lung wasn't good enough. And I get the argument that that should be good enough, but a single lung in real life doesn't kill an animal very quickly. Quick kill you enjoyed? I... Maybe I'm in the minority here. But I like... Or liked... The... Adrenaline and almost like sense of... Call it drama, I guess. Especially from like a streaming perspective. That it would cause. Because... You knew. Like Cape Buffalo, for instance. Most guns weren't powerful enough to get double lung. So usually the move was a headshot. And it was a really tough shot to make. It made you nervous. How far up that tree can I climb? Uh, there's not a lot of diamonds I'm super nervous to shoot anymore. Like the bobcat, the diamond bobcat we got, I was nervous about that because it's small enough you can mess that up still. I found a new tree stand. But yeah, I, I liked quick kill because it made every diamond like scary in a sense. Like you had to make the shot. Now it's like, okay, if I hit something the size of a dinner plate with a rifle, I'm good. What's up, Miro? Maybe things have stabilized a little bit internet-wise. Other hobbies besides gaming and hunting? Yeah, like Kyla said, camping, fishing, I guess football watching in this time of year. I'd say that counts as a hobby. It's probably more than a hobby. <laughs> I, uh... Considering I made a football channel this year just to make picks for every single game, it's probably a little beyond hobby. But, that's about it. Most, mostly outdoors based things even if it's when it comes to gaming it's outdoors games which is an odd thing to think about 
Do you think they'll ever add more to character creation in this game? No. We're we're too far. You know, I I think. Uh. Feb February's 18th is gonna be seven years since Call of the Wild came out. That it's just at the point that you know we're not gonna we're not gonna see super base level stuff. Do you wish fighting was a part of football, kind of like hockey? I don't think they could justify it. Because they're, you know, all the player safety stuff and taking the head out of the game, and now they're trying to, you know, take knee injuries out of the game. I, there's no way they could possibly justify it, so I guess not. Can't wait for New Zealand to come out. That should be fun. I'm looking forward to the Red Deer. Clubbing each other was help. Well, I mean, Miles Garrett, you know, he's, he's... He's ventured into such realms. They should add portable feeders so you can make, essentially, an artificial feed zone. There was a time when I would have been pretty against that because I've always said, like, you know, call the wilds easy enough, they don't need to make it easier. I guess so long as they limited the amount of feeders you could place, and I mean really limit it to like two or three, it probably wouldn't hurt much. So that latest survey, were there any hints towards a new game in the works, kind of like we saw when the angle was in development? I don't remember anything game-like. There was the... Was, the, was it that survey that had the great one thing in it that made people surmise we're getting Asia? I don't remember if it was that same survey or not, but... I don't remember anything that would lead to a map. Dream Hunt IRL, uh, Caribou. It was the same survey, okay. JTAC said didn't take anything like that, like map-wise. Yeah, I didn't remember, or not map-wise, game-wise. I didn't remember there being anything either. Do you think Sense could use a revamp? Like, yeah, they could, but I think it would be pointless. In the sense of... I, not that I like this, but the game is so generally optimized by anybody who plays it a lot. Like... There's a, and I'm sure there's a decent sized community here that's maybe less active, whether it's in the official The Hunter Discord or whether it's in my Discord or like the streams or whatever. I'm sure there's a significant subset of the community that like tries to play in a more realistic way. But the impression I get, the vast majority of the community, you know, grinding, hunting for diamonds, running gun style, I just sense don't fall into that at all. So. I don't know that there's any point in the developers taking the time to do it. Did they say anything in the survey about trail cams? Trail cams came up somewhere. Was it? Yeah, but I can't remember like you said if it was Way the Hunter. Or not. They don't make sense in Call of the Wild. Like I can see why you'd want them in Call of the Wild, but the implementation would be really awkward, to say the least. They should add new AR-style rifles, like a 300 Blackout specifically for grinding. That was that was on my list um, when I did my wish list back in December. 300 Blackout specifically is what I wanted. Holy, what's going on, Rebecca? Finally made it. How's things going? Speaking of finally made it, Tuck's in here too. Got the flu. That's that's a great reason to get to watch the stream. Hopefully you feel better soon, man. That's no fun. Hopefully the uh, the stream feels better soon too. We've been lagging so bad that I'm kind of stuck to streaming Moose today with low bit rate, which sucks. But I guess better than not streaming at all. Oh, I didn't even realize the other Moose ran that way. So we're making do. Trail cams in Classic would be cool. Yeah, if they did them in like a cell cam style, I think that can make a decent amount of sense. 
I would be worried. Because spawn mashing is probably the uh, biggest problem when it comes to like abusing the mechanics within Classic. There would be fail safes you could put into place pretty easily, but if they if they added cell cams, the combined I guess number of animals you could quickly cycle through by spawn mashing and using cell cams would be pretty bad. I do think you'd get some trophy devaluing there. Cody, thank you for the 18 months, by the way. That is exactly 12 and also half of 12 months. Currently grinding on Xbox for my first Diamond Moose. So hopefully one shows up for you soon, man. I'll tell you what, Diamond Moose don't like me, so maybe they'll like you better. Is Reventuli good for a moose grind? As far as I know it is, like a lot of people have succeeded on Reventuli for moose. The reason, because I was going to do Reventuli, the reason that I backed off of it is there's just so many zones and so much water and stuff, and I didn't, I didn't want to have to try to manage all that in the sense of like, I've only got 16 tents, there's like, who knows, 60 spots at least where moose can drink. Seems to be a, a bad, uh, bad combo for me who's not good at this. Congrats on your mellow five star. Why, thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna slowly. We're an hour into this. <laughs> we're just grinding moose and the title's about bears. Oh dear. I'm gonna slowly bump the bitrate up and see if we do okay. Took me nearly 500 kills and four trolls to get a diamond rocky. I. I have never tried grinding them, but I believe that based on just the amount of Silver Age Peaks multiplayer servers I've been in over the years and how few uh, diamonds I've gotten. Alright, so bitrate up was not a good idea. Long range kill opportunities in Way the Hunter is really fun. That's why I think a spawning scope makes sense, but they've come out and said like they feel like that would basically ruin the game. How was the bear grind? Yeah, like uh... Oh, I just saw it. Where did it go? Like K-Flow said. We... We're having such lag, I had to lower the bitrate. And without getting overly technical, that basically just means it's a blurrier image for all you guys to watch. And combining hunting at night with a blurry image just isn't good. So we're, we're hunting the brightest map in the game. It's a lame excuse in my opinion. I don't even know if it's an excuse. I'm sure, you know, they... I'm sure they feel that for whatever reason that would be a problem. I don't know if I agree. The only thing I can think of is it would make it too easy to manage your herds, but... Is it not already absurdly easy? I mean, the way you can... Like, if you want, you can basically drive the UTV up the stuff. Uh, you can... Especially if you go into multiplayer. You can spam rest animals up to their peak age really quickly. You can spam multiplayer servers. A lot of people have done that. Uh, and posted a ton of trophies in the official Discord. You can usually tell who's doing it. You can play that game so many different ways. I, I don't see why adding it makes it that big of a problem. Got trolled by a kangaroo the other day, and I really wanted the new diamond. Kangaroos are some of the worst trolls in the game. They, There's a lot of level 9s out there, and a lot of them troll, which is really unfortunate. For what it's worth, I like a dev team that's aware of certain things that can ruin the game and how they want it played. That's... I'll give you that. That is a good point. I probably should be... Uh, more willing to accept that they probably know more than I do. Uh, I don't see the skeletons being an issue, but I also disagree with their stance on not adding the big five. I don't remember what, that, maybe I've never even seen their stance on that. Like, probably on the extreme ends, it would be a problem, but... Again, on the extreme ends, multiplayer spamming is a problem. 
I guess you don't add something that you know people are going to abuse, but it also would make it really nice for those of us that don't want to abuse it. No. Bad. New scopes, longer render distance, and longer range rifles only the company called the wild? New scopes is high on my list. I'm kind of surprised we don't have that. The render distance, I just don't think is going to happen. It's it's another one of those things. We're se we're seven years into this game's existence. We're beyond, you know, core game elements changing, I think, unfortunately. Uh, and then, what was the last one? Longer range rifles? We can, you know, even without an increased render, we can see out to 400. I don't get why we don't have at least a gun that can zero to that. Eating healthy sucks. Can agree. At this point, you might find a super rare before the great one. I don't think I'd want that. Uh, meaning, like, it's not like I wouldn't be, like, or, you know, really excited to shoot a super rare. What I mean is, immediately, I will say, I know this is more rare than a great one. Why am I finding this instead? Like, it'll annoy me in that sense, but I'll still be really proud of it. Whoops. Not proud of that shot. Anyway. Um, it wouldn't shock me. Our great one luck sucks. How'd you feel about adding back the 1 to 1000 scoring system? I dislike uh, standardized scoring systems. I much prefer sort of the way they do it now, but the thing about it is, like, bronze, silver, gold, diamond, uh, and great one, essentially is a standardized scoring system anyway. It just has another layer with like the individual scores. I still think Classic does it best. That's another reason that I think um, Classic feels more replayable in the sense that, you know, once you've shot, let, let me put it this way, and I, I hope this doesn't happen. I hope this part happens. Let's say in the next two weeks, I get crazy lucky, kill the Great One Bear, you know, maybe our internet cooperates and I can stream that again. <laughs> and uh, and then come to Medved and, and the Moose like us and we get a Great One Moose too. All right, now I've got every diamond in the game and I've got every Great One in the game. What do I, what do I look to improve? I'm sure I'll find something to do, like I still wanna get a gold rare gator for instance, but in classic, like, because there is no rating, there's no standardized scoring or anything like that, just because I have a 400 elk, which is kind of the pinnacle of Roosevelt elk, that doesn't mean I can't get a 4 or 20. And like, yes, can I get bigger diamonds in Call of the Wild? I can. But it's, it's different when they set the standard for you by giving you the medals. So, uh, long way to say I don't like the 1 to 1000 system, but I do miss max scores, which is a convoluted answer. I didn't like that you could tell it was max weight on the tracks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was a bug, ultimately. Um, that became... I guess, like, a, almost a core strategy of the community for a long time. They didn't intend for it to work that way, but... I think it was three or four years till they fixed it. Just crushed a chem exam. Holy... Kyla should be put in, in a bubble. I just think we need to put her in bubble wrap. What's up, Westsider? Do you know how to find Miss? Wait, find back Mr. Black? The Black Bear took a pick at him, but he was running away at the same time I completed the mission. I think he's gone forever. Uh, I know that sucks, but I believe, if I, if I understand correctly... Huh. Max Wait Mustier. Um, if I know what mission you're on, I think the options are take a picture of him or kill him. I did that too. I took a picture of him. Never shot him. Zag Tactics was a crazy era for Call of the Wild. It was a different time. It was, it was very, uh, it was kind of Wild West-ish in terms of, you know, finding diamonds and all that. Because I, there were some people that had it figured out. I mean... 
killing... This is nothing now. But killing a couple of diamonds a week. I mean, I went... I killed my first diamond, that musk deer. I think it was October 30th of 2017. I didn't kill another one until February 2018. And then I got my 1,000 coyote in March 2018. You know, that, that's a month in between. My next two diamonds were in the same herd, the two diamond European bison. I forget what number six was, and from there on out, I, I can't remember. But, you know, it, it used to go months between diamonds. Now people don't go months between great ones. I do. Summer football training camp started. Why? Oh, wait. It's a summer league? I think I understand. I thought you meant regular, like, fall football that normally training camp starts in the summer. What DLC is the best gun camo? Oh, boy. So you're talking about one of the cosmetics packs? Um, the Quattro premium wrap looks like real tree camo to me, if that's something you're interested in. Jeez, Hirschfelden's got a good one. Depends. Do you want, like, you know, there's, there's a really nice snow camo. I think that's Yukon. Old man voice. Hang on, I got this. I remember back in the day, we knew by looking at the, at the tracks. That, that's a big one. And you, you tracked them down and you're, you're happy with it. Well, these kids, they shoot a great one. It's got the wrong fur, the wrong rack. I gotta shoot 19 more. I can't stand. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Something of it worth. Don't mind me. Can't find any god darn goats? What kind of god darn goats are you going after? How does your voice not die from that? It's actually easier on my voice to do that for a little while than like, because. I have like a, I don't know what, like I speak from the back of my throat, which is, I think if I were to go into vocal coaching, I would be told I'm probably speaking incorrectly. Uh, but that way that I'm speaking as an old man is not the same. So it's actually a little bit of a respite. <laughs> Later, Chad. I want realistic dry woods camo. Which would be the, uh... I, I'm gonna feel bad because I'm, you know, I can't know exactly what you're looking for. I think... Like, you can, you can get access to the images that kind of show all the different pieces of the DLCs. I guess on the, the Call of the Wild social media pages would be one place. They've had like posts on their like website thing. If you go on their Discord, you could see, like go through the Call of the Wild news things. I still think Quattro is a good one, but it might not be exactly what you're after. Why can't Camo have an impact on this game? Yeah, I've never understood that. There's clearly like, <laughs> There's a degree of that coded into the game, and it's in the bottom right. Like, you know, you see the circle when I'm running. And I slow down, becomes a whatever shape that is. And I crouch. It's a line. And I prone. Smaller line. And I get into the brush, and it's a smaller line. That's effectively camouflage. So why they can't just... Even if it's a lesser degree of that? Because I would say it's more important... You know, I could go deer hunting dressed in high-vis uh, worker, like, vibrant green, I can't, fluorescent, yellow, green, whatever. And if I get myself set up in some brush, I could probably kill a deer. I think they kind of have it right in that, you know, using brush and not, you know, being prone or crouch or whatever is more important than camo, but camo should matter. It's kind of dumb to, like, you know, I can wear the Medved bright white ghillie suit on Verhunga and not be noticed any more than if I wear literally anything else. 
Uh, I don't know if you get told this often, but you have a really nice sounding voice, just a pleasure to listen to. It is something I've heard quite a bit, and it's funny because, like, I never thought that in the slightest. But then when I started streaming and making videos, a lot of people would tell me that, and it's kind of cool. Because people would complain that it's pay to win, buy DLC to get the camo. I guess probably on some level, but they could make base game camo even. Did we really miss the lungs completely? Oh dear. Can I can I cry that the game is lagging even though it's the stream that's lagging? Oh my god, I can't even shoot. Alright, that one's gonna live. <laughs> Nobody saw that. That was bad. Don't lie, you know you took vocal classes? I, I definitely would be the type to... Hey, here he is. <laughs> I definitely would be the type to, uh, to do that. Don't you think it'd be awesome if you could hunt in a rainforest and hunt squirrels and beavers and monkeys? Do all those things live in a rainforest? The Caplock muzzleloader should be viable for class 9. It sometimes performs better than most bigger guns. Yeah, I guess I get what they're going for by not making it ethical for class 9. I get, like, it, it, it's a challenge. It, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe this could be made much simpler than it is. But I can see why it might be a challenge to code ballistics into a game and make a gun you know, really good for Whitetail and Elk and stuff like that, but then not good enough for Cape Buffalo that are just like a little bit, what, tankier? That said, yeah, I mean, they made a gun that literally, like it outperforms the 300, but isn't ethical for things the 300 can shoot. Did Euro Bison get some kind of remodel or improvement? Because, uh... I was probably watching the video where you killed two diamonds in the same herd and the models look different. I don't, other than getting true racks, I don't think the models have undergone any changes. That's not to say there maybe wasn't like a fur quality update or anything like that. That definitely could have happened, but I, I'm not aware of like the actual models being changed. How about them lines? Man, I feel bad for Dan Campbell. Like you watch that dude any press conference after a loss. You can just tell all he wants is to bring his team to a championship and they got so close. A the Hunter game made on Unreal 5 would just be Chef's Kiss. I just want the Hunter Classic too. If they make that on Unreal 5, I will play it. If they make it on any engine, I'll play it. No way. I'm trying to get a diamond Eurasian Lynx. I've shot three nine legendary golds. That's so unfortunate. They don't troll that often. What map are you hunting? I'd probably go to Reventuli if I were you. Broncos 13 and 4. I think I might, uh, I might dial it back a little bit. They're not going to have rods, dude. It's like, they're getting rid of rods, 100%. So now they're going to be kneecapped, uh, not to, <laughs> as I just was talking about Dan Campbell. Uh, in the salary cap game because they're going to be paying $40 million for Russ and he's not even going to be on the team. So now they got to allocate way less resources to quarterback. It's either going to be Stidham or like like a Mason Rudolph. I'm not saying him specifically, but a, a guy they can get on vet minimum salary. 11 and 6? I can get behind 11 and 6. Why are you not using tents? Uh, I use some tents. This area I don't grind very often. I just sort of run it. The thing about it is, there used to be zones like this, where tents would be pointless. Now there's not as many, but they're, they seem to be in unpredictable locations. I'm supposed to be grinding bears. The internet's just not cooperating, and the stream would look horrid. If we were streaming in the dark right now, if the internet comes back, we're going back to bears, but I see no reason to believe it's going to. Went through enough this season? Oh. 
Got anything good yet? Nothing. Nothing at all. We we had a good thing going with bears. Like we we did most of a run. We weren't killing anything big, but we were killing a lot of bears. Like our numbers for bears have been really good. But the internet speed today is just garbage, and I had to lower the bitrate, which as we're lagging right now, good. Um, lowering the bitrate means a blurrier picture, which you know when we're having to. Not bears at night, that just won't look good. So now we're after Mies, and they're not cooperating either. Where are the Broncos picking? They, oh, tankathon.com, nice. <laughs> Denver's at 12? There are people who think Penix is going to fall out of the first round. J.J. McCarthy's not the answer. I think uh, Sean Payton could get... Not in their rookie year, probably. But I think Sean Payton could get 11 out of uh, Penix or Knicks, to be honest. Do you like the Saints? Generally, uh, as, so long as they're not playing the Steelers, generally I cheer for teams who, like, I have close friends who that's their favorite team. So, like, bottom boy who's in here somewhere, he's a Cowboys fan, so when they're not playing the Steelers, I root for the Cowboys because I know losing sucks. I know how when the Steelers lose, it ruins my week. I don't want their week to be ruined the way mine is. So, you know, I'll root for the Cowboys when they're playing uh, G-Man, one of my buddies, he's a Saints fan, so I root for the Saints. Uh, when they're on, as long as we're not playing the Steelers, and as long as we're not getting stupid pass interference calls on a fourth and one that bailed them out. Not mad. The <laughs> Saints suck. Oof. Should the Bears draft Williams or keep Fields? That's a good question. Uh, OPZ Productions, thank you for subscribing, by the way. I don't see in Caleb Williams what everybody else does. I see the talent, but I, to me, I see one of these guys that's just more athletic than ever than all of his opponents in college and can get by on pure athleticism. I worry about when, you know, because 85, 90% of NFL defensive ends are going to be faster, bigger, faster, stronger than he is. I worry that he's going to get into trouble of just trying to rely on athleticism and instead run into a bunch of sacks. So, to me, I think he's probably going to be better than Justin Fields, but not a lot. I would trade the first pick and get a haul. See if you can solidify the O-line, probably draft Marvin Harrison Jr. And if Justin Fields pans out, great. If not, you either use the back half of that hole because you're probably getting multiple years of first round picks to trade for a bona fide starter or you try to draft one next year which I get the quarterback class next year is not as good so maybe you do draft him because the quarterback <laughs> class next year sucks in theory The word kills the stretch for anything Steeler related. I think the last time the Steelers played the Broncos, they actually beat them pretty soundly. I can't remember if that was the Juju Smith-Schuster game. He had like a 97-yard touchdown. I was in West Virginia, I know that. I remember we watched the game outside the camper. What's up, Shannon? Lions absolutely sold yesterday. Yeah, it just, it sucks for for Lions fans and stuff. I, I do think... Eh, maybe I don't. I was going to say I do think the Niners can give the Chiefs a better game, but that might not be true. I think the Niners generally earned it as much as the Lions threw it away. Like, it's not as if the Lions just, you know, gave up three pick sixes or fumble sixes or whatever, but... Sucks for Lions fans for sure because they were on the precipice. The Moose really don't like you. No, they don't. And like the Bears, 
We could go grind bears. I just know it's gonna look so bad on stream. It's gonna bother me. Moose are such a pain, period. You could have ended that sentence earlier. <laughs> Is it possible to go to West Virginia and not sing country roads? I haven't tried. Steelers 27, Broncos 19. I thought that game... Eh, I, I kind of remember being close-ish, but I thought that game was more out of hand than it was. What time is it? I guess for the last 30 minutes, we're going to go grind bears and deal with blurriness. If we find a great one, though, I'm just going to tell you right now. If we find a great one, I'm going to have to think about what we do because I don't want whatever footage of Great One to be this blurry nonsense that it's going to be. I guess I can press record and it should be fine. It just won't look as good on stream. Good problem to have, right? If a Great One actually shows up. Josh Allen's MVP. Like, obviously, he's not going to win it. I can get behind the fact that I think he probably is. Holy! This place looks amazing in the daylight. All right, back to dark. Let me shoot the bears. You can talk to chat. I, it's <laughs> you can if you want, but it's already going to be a mess. Our internet's terrible. I don't think we're going to be able to connect well in multiplayer. <laughs> Did I switch loadouts? Nope. What happened with the long stream playing? This this lag happened. <laughs> I just... It's such a... Uh, like, we've dropped 10,000 frames, which isn't even terrible, but... It is terrible when you're streaming in the nighttime. It's just not as good for reviewing experience. I mean, who knows? Maybe if the internet recovers in 30 minutes, we'll, we'll make it go longer. I meant me legit shooting and you talking to chat on single player. Oh, you would just take over my game. That's new. Intriguing. Hmm. Kind of like that. Best gun for Springbuck. A uh, couple of ones you could probably make an argument for. The 22-250 is up there. Probably lacking in power a tiny bit. Personally, I'd go 243, but... There's a bunch of good guns for Springbuck. Okay, if we fast travel really quick, we might be able to clutch that one. There might have been two that we didn't get good. Get good, you say? What a great piece of advice. Definitely the 223 AR style. So the... Here's why I chose the 22250 first. Um, Varunga Savannah is so open, you can pretty often see Springbuck 300 plus meters away. And both the both the 223s and also the 243, when zero for 300 meters, they hit low. They're more like dead on at 250. The 22250 does not have that issue. When zero for 300, you hit at 300. It's just the the lack of frontal shot power. That's the only hesitation I'd have with it. Nice shots, but thank you. How to become a stream mod? Uh, mostly it's just, you know, being active in the chat for long periods of time. And if we, especially if we determine we need more mods, like, you know, sometimes when new maps come out and stuff like that, that kind of thing is, is when we're looking at it. But pretty much everybody in here that you see is a mod is someone who just shows up to a lot of streams no I barely made it oh don't worry you're catching 85% of the bear grinding we're gonna do because the internet has been such a mess uh, just insane lag we've dropped all the frames and uh, in normally I stream at like 7500 uh, whatever kilobits per second kbps whatever that is um, and that's a decently clear picture but at night it's already kind of meh because of the internet, I'm streaming at half that. So I know it's blurry. We spent an hour plus uh, grinding moose. 
Internet won't come back. And moose hate us. But I bet, how many moose did we kill? In however long? Less than 20. Uh, well, maybe close to 20. Not enough. So anyway, we're back to bears. Blurry and not easy to see as it may be. Looks fine on here? Well, that's good anyway. Need better night vision? That would help. That would certainly help. Watch them from class while taking notes. I love college. <laughs> I used to play classic on my laptop during my college classes. And then you wonder why I dropped out. It looks fine. I do feel like it would look fine on a phone screen. I think it'd be on PC screens where it would be less pixel density and therefore look bad. Thermal would be cool, but I get why they don't do it. Yeah. They had it in Deer Hunter 2005 and that it, it was definitely easy mode if you used a thermal scope or whatever. I didn't drop out according to my mom. It is true. I, I withdrew as if I'm going to go back <laughs> 10 years later. <laughs> Oh well. Uh, hunting pressure is weird. Let's go here. Doesn't look too terrible on mine, and I'm watching on a TV screen. Well, that's that's uh, encouraging anyway. Random thought I have playing is we need more variety of animals on certain maps. Yeah, I'd agree. Like I was actually when I was uh, deciding what to hunt in classic today for tomorrow's video, I was thinking that like man. It'd be kind of nice if I had a map where I could hunt, you know, X, Y, and Z animal all in the same map. Um, Call of the Wild's better about that. You know, Call of the Wild, most maps have more species variety, but some of the, like, wait, Hunter, I think New Zealand's going to have 17 species. That makes you think, like, eh, we could have more. What do you want to be your first Matariki 5 star? Um, I guess Sandbar because I want to see how big they are. Like Red Deer, we have an idea of how big they'll get. Obviously, I want one. But in the sense of, you know, trying to make content and show people like, you know, first look or whatever, I think Sandbar would be up there. Albino diamond black bear or great one black bear? Well, there are no albino black bears, so uh, great one black bear by default, but it, I'd love a super rare bear. I think that'd be amazing. But at this rate, um, I think I would take the great one just because I could be done. <laughs> I'd like to be done with this grind at some point. So what do you think is better for whitetail, New England, or Reventuli? Uh, between those two, Reventuli for sure. I think there's an argument to be made for Rancho, but even even that, I think Reventuli is better. Watch you get a blonde diamond and I'll be jelly. I just see that I'm lagging again. It's ironic considering I was memeing about albino black bears in Call of the Wild earlier. I was thinking that I had read that somewhere today and I thought that I was just having deja vu for a second. There should be albino black bears. They do exist. I'm not quite sure why they're not in the game. Might have been a touch low there. The hunter needs more open plains? I would kind of say like yes and no. One of the things that makes Verhunga great is because it's so wide open. But I think the other aspect of it is it's because not a lot of maps are. Like, I think if every map was super open and easy to hunt, Verhunga would be less special. I'm telling you, like, it would make the stream so much worse if I didn't have the light on. <laughs> it's literally, I don't do it for my own sake. It's for the viewing sake of being able to see what's going on. A little bit, not even a lot. When I'm grinding on my own, I don't use a flashlight.
it looks bad from our view and lags today. We were lagging a while ago. Uh, I'm guessing for me it's delayed. Lag city. I think that's why we're going to end at five. Which is annoying. Oh, it's all already the stream forever. How delayed are we? Because, well, actually, it's going to be a lot. Oh, hey, we're lagging again. Good. Your voice and sound cuts out? I'm not surprised. The amount of frames we're dropping, it's just too much to be able to, like, skip a little bit. Every other second. It shouldn't be that bad. I think if you refresh, it'll fix that. My guess would be it's having an issue, like, syncing up because we have dropped so many frames. Refreshing help? That's what I thought. Yeah, if it if it lags for any significant period of time, that's probably the solution, which is annoying. Of all days, like, it's actually nice out. Usually when it gets really cold, that messes with our our internets, but it's, it's nice today. Crossbow or compound in Call of the Wild? Like, as if, as in which, uh, which one I'd prefer? I don't know. I like the crossbows in this game. I think they actually did a good job with them. Typically, I use a compound, so I guess I'll go with that, but every now and then I think about doing a crossbow hunt. It's just... It's really hard to justify, like, hey, there's a level 3 uh, moose out there. I'm going to spend 10 minutes crawling into range to kill it. In Classic, it's like there's a reason for it. Because by shooting a gun, you're going to spook everything in the area, and that there's more of a punishment in terms of spooking things means they won't respond to a call for 10 minutes, and they're more likely to spook... Uh, like from a further distance and all that. In Call of the Wild, it's just kind of like if you spook them, you track them down real quick. Hopefully, you could hear that over all the inherent shooting. Start threatening your internet. I'll probably have to give the router a good reset after this. Maybe I should have done that between streams, but that rarely fixes this specific issue. It usually you just gotta let it play out. I had a feeling too, because when I was recording Classic earlier. I still have, like, my chat and stuff still open. You guys probably don't know this, but every now and then someone will, like, jump in my Twitch chat while I'm not streaming, and they'll go and, like, do follow age or whatever, and a lot of times I see that, and sometimes I respond, but usually I don't. Anyway, I saw the thing say, like, disconnected from chat reconnecting, and I was like, yeah, that's probably not good. Internet might be borked today, but I didn't expect this. Need some good tips for recording and editing? Yeah, just use OBS Studio for recording. It's the best there is out there. It's completely free. Editing, I I would start with a free program if I were you. I use Sony Vegas. Um, I think it's Sony Vegas Pro 21 or whatever they have now. Uh, I wouldn't start with that. I'd start simple and then kind of work up to that. So we've kind of been everywhere quicker than normal. Like maybe... Well, this spot didn't produce anything. Let's try here again. And then we'll go south if we have time. 400 kills in. I remember there is no great one Rocky Mountain Elk. There, in fact, is not. Been watching your videos for a while now. Much love. Appreciate you stopping in to the stream, especially hanging out when we're having all the internet issues today. What's up? Just have fun. Nothing to speak of. Like, like I just said, we've been working through lag issues and frame rates and all the... All the different problems. We were supposed to grind bears the entire time. And I even wrote down my total number of kills prior to shooting anything today. Because what I wanted to do was see, you know, in two hours, how many bears can we kill. And instead we spent an hour grinding moose because it's kind of blurry-ish to grind bears with this low bit rate. And we killed, like, no moose. They hate me so much. Don't forget to look to the left of that. What do you mean? Oh, hey. The left. What? 
Oh, it does like I'll yeah, 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 I know what you mean. What's up, Jonathan? Got literally no sleep running on monster in spite. Hey, sometimes uh that can produce some of the best things. What's up, Maximus? You're a little late there. That's what you get for being late, really. So, yeah, I was gonna say there should be two. How many bears did you kill in an hour? I, I got no idea. I was supposed, like, I wanted to count. But, uh, because of the internets today, I ended up not counting. I'm pretty sure I'm getting right around 50 an hour. I mean, we can look. I don't know how long we've been doing this, but uh, in 15 minutes, we're closing in on 20. So, 50 an hour seems right about right about there. Okay, we'll check this spot. Um, it's been producing a male bear here and there. Go and see what's going on. Thoughts on Great One Red Fox? There was a... This is a while back. There was a thought that Great One Red Fox would be basically ungrindable and that could be a good thing in the sense of, you know, some people didn't love that you could grind for great ones and herd manage and be so effective and all that. I think with the prevalence of Red Fox on Emerald Coast, it actually wouldn't even be a bad grind. So, would I want to grind for a great one, Red Fox? No. Um, I had a hard time getting one diamond on the grind, but I do think it would be very doable on Emerald, Emerald Coast. You kill me with no click count. I'm so like literally before the stream, I wrote down I was at 66,540 kills. And we were gonna count the entire stream's kills and then figure it out. And then I had all the internet issues and didn't do it. After Grand Moose, hopefully you have better luck than me. Oh, anything good yet? Not at all. Not at all. Uh like a 240 moose, I think, and then a mythical black bear. Not the pinnacle of big males around here. So usually if there's a male bear, it's like... Yeah, right there. Nice shot. <laughs> Who needs breath anyway? Ooh, God, now the game's lagging. That's good. Can we have any more issues today? I'd like to introduce more lag if we can. It's a herd of bears over there. What's happened so far? Not too much, Gideon. So, uh, we were supposed to stream bears all stream. I was even going to do a long stream. But the internet's just not cooperating. We're dropping frames all the time. Probably going to end the stream at normal time, unfortunately. But, um... This is, I think, our second full bear run at this point. We just... I thought the internet would come back at some point during the stream. It's just not. So... We've decided to just commit to bears anyway. <laughs> Don't encourage it. Maybe I can reverse psychology it into leaving. Would you grind for a great one, White Delt? No. I, I have one and I'm happy with one. I have no desire to get another one. That doesn't mean I wouldn't shoot one if one was right in front of me. But I wouldn't grind for it. That alert should actually work, but just in case it doesn't, Jenna, thanks for becoming a shoosty. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate that. Waiting to see if it's actually going to like us and show up, because normally the new ones do. There it is. Once again, thank you for the support, and of course, if you're not in the Discord, be sure to join that as well. Link up your YouTube, get the member roll. Take advantage of all that good stuff and enjoy the green name and emojis in chat. Got one of the first white tail great ones. How far the flinty have fallen. <laughs> now I get no great ones. <laughs> Alright, I guess in theory this will probably be the last run. I am in Discord, of course. Was guessing so, but you know, just in case. Gotta put it out there. The curse of the white tail great one? Didn't feel like a curse at the time. I thought all, all kinds of good things were occurring there. 
Watching you makes me want to go grind for great ones. I did not play Call of the Wild uh, for years now, but I'm watching every video of yours still. Just bought New England Mountains to start some grinds. Ooh, nice. New England I have a love-hate relationship with. I thought it was a really cool idea when it came out, and I thought it was going to be a map that maybe wasn't as hype initially because there weren't like all the new species, but then I thought later on it would be a map that I'd really enjoy going back to because it's got some of my favorites. Moose, Whitetail, um... I don't know. Raccoons are one that I kind of like. But I wouldn't say they're one of my favorites. The foxes on that map, bobcats. Anyway, it ended up not being that kind of map for me. I didn't end up, you know, wanting to go back there all the time. But then when I did my long extended search for a diamond bobcat, I came to like it. And it, it's uh, given me an appreciation for the patience required to hunt that map. And it's the same as, uh, as Mississippi in a way. I didn't like Mississippi for a long time. There's a big male. But I I can appreciate the patience you need to have if you want to succeed. Speaking of patience, that's not how you grind. <laughs> Torturing myself with moose on medved isn't it so much fun. There's nothing better than feeling like you're getting nowhere. That's why I've been grinding bears. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I feel like it's gonna happen. Um, moose, I don't know. I, I think if we really commit to it, I still may switch whatever map we're doing it on. I said this before, but one of the reasons I think Kyla does really good with Great One Grinding is she'll find like the best five lakes or whatever and just stick to it and just hit those lakes over and over and over again, which is how we're grinding bears now. I have a problem of trying to grind the entire map and I think that's what's slowing me way down with Moose. I don't know if I have like five to eight good moose lakes, but I can maybe figure that out. Uh, someone asked who does the overlay. I don't have, I don't have the link here. I should put it in the description. Um, if you go on my Twitch, I do have a Twitch panel that links to the SD page of the guy that makes the overlays and stuff. I really, really like all this stuff. I mean, all the transitions and the alerts and stuff. At some stage, I'll probably go back and get some, uh, like specific customizations like um, on Twitch for like when someone subscribes for, you know, two months in a row, five months in a row, ten months. Instead of it saying new subscriber, I'll get one that says like returning sub and all that just to further customize it. But I really like his stuff. That's what I do too, pick a certain lakes and never go anywhere else. I think that's, you know, the more I mess with it, I think that makes sense. I'm just so paranoid. The Red Deer Great One's what did me in. Because he spawned in a place I wasn't grinding. So for whatever reason, that respawn that became my Great One Red Deer spawned in a place that I wasn't consistently shooting Red Deer. And that made me, you know, try to check every lake all the time. I just think that's a mistake. I think that's how... I think that's how you end up with, um inconsistent numbers it seems to me and maybe you got to start out by grinding the entire map but it seems to me when you do narrow down your uh selection of lakes the numbers are better which kind of it's counterintuitive but that that appears to work i don't look at drink zone maps jenna not because they're not useful i just i generally kind of know where things drink from playing the game a lot I like to find them myself, though. What's up, Grant? I was only grinding six zones to get my Great One Fallow. So again, so and this is why I've more adopted this way with bears. With Fallow, I started with the entire map. I was hitting, I believe, every single Fallow zone on Teoro. Not that there are a lot. Um, but by the end, I got to this point where a bunch of them weren't respawning. A bunch of places were just either completely gone, like Fallow stopped going there, or long stretches of time, like 8, 10, 12 runs, you know, potentially like 500 kills between that zone spawning Fallow. And it just reaches a point where you quit checking there. Because, like, why would you? They're not there. And I was in I was in about the same realm. Six or seven zones, I think, is all... Or six or seven spots, because there's so many zones around the... that, like, Muddy Lake area in the northeast... Um, that 
because I got a great one fallow there eventually, that showed me that can work. And that's why we're doing it with the bears. Solo's Ark? What you mean? Probably hit around 7 lakes and rivers, 1600 kills for a great one fallow? That ain't bad. Not bad at all. Hello there, Mr. Bear hiding behind a tree. Is there a map that's best for fallow? I think Teoro is the uh, undisputed fallow deer king. We shot a tree the first time, by the way. Got my second fallow great one at level 47 on Teoroa. My PS4 died and I did have to start it. Oh, that's annoying. Like the, it died and it corrupted your save? Day is going pretty good. Um, the the laggy stream has derailed a little bit of the plans, but that is all good. We've rebounded and we're killing many bears anyway. And I've got a... I think it's an interesting classic video that I recorded for, for tomorrow. Doing something a little bit different. Um... I would say successfully so. So that should be fun. The tree was dangerous. I had to kill it. Where are we going to go here again? The hunting pressure here messes stuff up. Next great one should be cape or water buffalo. I could get behind it. I'd be cool with that. Got my first great one two days ago. Nice, man. What'd you get? What a great one, roe deer. I actually think great one, roe deer could be cool. A lot of people say, and I don't, I'm not saying you are, but a lot of people say great one, roe deer, I think kind of like jokingly. They could legit make a cool great one, roe deer. Stop nuking zones, I helped set up for a reason. I'm not nuking zones though. Well, this one I am. It's because I don't like these bears. They're in weird spots, so I just murdered them all. Any updates on your Mellow Moose from Way the Hunter since your last video? Uh, watch yesterday's video. That would be the final update. Unless you mean... Maybe I'm misunderstanding. But if I... If... If I understand what you're asking me, yesterday's video will answer the question. Are you rotating on the upper... The four upper... Le I... I don't know what rotating means. Does that... Does that mean, like, something to do with what zones male bears are in and females and stuff? Great one reindeer would be cool. A lot of people will remember the glitch when great ones were first introduced. There was a bug with reindeer. So they had true racks by then. But, um, I think it was because they could score so high. If you got like a particularly large uh, reindeer, what was happening was instead of it showing up with its true racks, it would show up as a level 10 with the old legacy diamond rack, which was kind of awesome. Uh, but it was a bugged great one. They weren't supposed to be like that. I think a great one, Sika would look spiffy. I think the struggle is, and this this has been the case with a number of uh, big diamonds that they've made into great ones and they've figured it out. Diamond Sika deer already are probably bigger than they should be. So then when you add a great one and you have to make it somehow even bigger, that's kind of problematic. But... You know, with red deer, they figured it out. With fallow deer, they figured it out. I'm sure they could do it with secret deer, too. Oh, it just means doing runs? I, see, like... All the... Terminology and stuff... It's, it's different than when I started, I guess. Because... Now there's... I don't even know. Exterior zones and interior zones or something. And, yeah, rotations has always confused me because I thought that meant... Up until now, I thought that it had something to do with moving animals. Because there's there's such different philosophies. There was a conversation going down in the Fabled Ones chat. And someone said, like, it's okay to shoot a female. And, like, the absolute offense that some people that grind a lot took to that. Like, the way that they answered that question. 
Like, they obviously know what they're... They understand what shooting a female does. But it's so, um... So optimized now? I don't even... Like, I've, I've lost track of how people do anything. I'd say over 7k easily, Kyla. To be honest. How did... What? How did you get there? Next video, I might click count bears for you. <laughs> well, uh, if you happen to make it to Friday's Twitch stream, I imagine we'll be grinding bears. That will probably be the plan. What diamond should I chase next? I suppose it depends what diamond you don't have. Kind of been to all the spots again. This spot didn't have as many as it probably should have. There's probably more there by now. Easiest animal to grind? If you're grinding for a great one, the easiest is probably Fallow Deer. What's up, Ryan? I've found a lot of diamonds in places that I grind every four to five runs. Kind of interesting. There's a decent bear anyway. Sad to say, we don't even kill a lot of mythicals these days. I don't get why they didn't stick to calling it a run. Uh, I mean, if you want my personal opinion, I think... I don't know who started it, but... I There was someone who came up with the idea of, like, leaving your Xbox on because it would somehow make it more likely the Great One would spawn if, like, the machine got really hot or something crazy like that. Some people come up with ideas and then they want all the credit for it, so they have to make it their own. That'd be my guess. It really doesn't matter. You can kill the female bears also? I don't know. I do. According to the reaction that I saw in Fabled One's chat when someone asked about it, I don't think you're supposed to. What's going on, Mason? Thank you for getting me back into this game. Started my white great one grind a few days ago, but haven't been able to play much. Even just, I'll tell you what, some of the most fun things is that starting process though. Like, placing your tents, finding the zones. That's my favorite part about great one grinding. This this stuff's kind of tedious and mad to me. I'd, I'd kind of rather not have to do it, but it is the way that you get great ones. I, the excitement, though, of setting up a new grind. It, it's a... Definitely enjoy that, because it's, it's a fun part of it, for sure. What the... Hello? Oh, hi. Eh, I guess hunting pressure is a premium here. You get to live, I guess. I don't like it. But you get to live. Okay, I guess we'll go here again because we had a mail there last time. And then it's probably going to be the last spot we go to. Who do I want to win the Super Bowl? I, the other side would be mad at me no matter what I say. I, I'd i be very okay with... I, I'm not going to be upset with any result. I generally have liked the Niners for a long time. I'm a Kyle Shanahan fan. I'm definitely a Brock Purdy fan. If they win it and they finally get over the hump after all these years of being closed, that'd be cool. At the same time, I'm definitely rooting for Mahomes and Andy Reid to make a run at the Belichick-Brady dynasty. And if Mahomes gets his third, who knows where this goes. Now, there's reports that Andy Reid may retire. And there's also reports that Belichick may take his place, which would be wild if that's what happens. But, uh... Yeah, even still, I think Mahomes getting his third is a good story. I think the 49ers winning after all these years of getting so close is a good story. I don't I don't see a negative to, to this one. Seven piebald gators, but still no diamond? Seven piebalds. When they first came out, I felt like piebalds were common almost. I don't really think they are anymore, but that's... <laughs> to get seven seems pretty crazy. Belichick takes Reed's place, no way. I'm just saying, there's there's been some reports out there that could happen. I don't know if it should. Andy Reid should still be with the Eagles? I, I don't know, you know. 
they fired him and won a Super Bowl with Doug Peterson, I'd... I'm sure they're happy with their decision and Andy Reid's happy with the decision too, but it would have been interesting to see, you know, it, that's the thing. You always wish you could move between universes and see in, in some other reality where Andy Reid is, has been the coach of the Eagles for 25 years now. You know, where has that left him? No male bears here. All right, I know we're a minute past, but if we go back here, I bet there's going to be one more we can kill. Five of them have been at the Gator Lakes, really? Like, all my multiplayer rares, almost all of them are on that river. Got one there, level six, holy, a bunch. Bunch of smalls, perfect. Just the way we like it. All right, um, I kind of think they're probably leaving. So I need a lead on that. Some or all of these may have heard that. Have to slow him down. Just enough for us to cause the smokings. Ran out of bullets. Smoked. Alright, that's fun. <laughs> Still killing a bunch of bears. Not as many as we were supposed to get during this stream. Hopefully, uh, if, uh, let me think. <laughs> There's a chance tomorrow that I'm getting a new dryer, so probably not tomorrow, but maybe like Wednesday, even before the classic stream or Thursday this week. If I get time, I'm going to try to do at some time during the day. I don't know when I'm going to try to do like an additional grinding stream for bears. Hopefully if the internet cooperates, uh, it'll be a, a slightly longer stream. We shall see, but, uh, yeah, be on the lookout for that. That's at least the plan for some day this week, maybe multiple days if it goes really well. Fingers crossed. Um, I'll wait for the alert if it wants to play. I guess I'll read it. Troublemaker, thank you for the super chat. It should come up. How about ostriches for Africa and Australia? So they may, they may get old a little bit eventually, but I would actually really like that at first. Like hunting for a diamond ostrich might be fun. That wasn't even the... That was interesting. Uh, Deer Hunting 2022, thank you for subscribing. Maybe that's what's holding up the Super Chat alert. Third Super on the live stream with the sticker. There it is. Thank you, Troublemaker, for the Super Chat and the support. I do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I actually think it'd be good. Imagine, imagine shooting an albino ostrich. Would that not look amazing? I think it would. Love the five-star monistic moose on Way the Hunter. Well, thank you. That was, that was definitely a special one. So yeah, uh, we have managed to power through the stream strugs today. Like I said, hopefully we can get another bear grinding stream later this week without the strugs. Hopefully it'll be a little longer. Maybe we can actually get a great one. But yeah, especially on a day with so many struggles. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thanks for your patience with all the lag. Appreciate you hanging out. Thanks for all the support. And uh, I think that's going to do it for this one. So I will see you in tomorrow's video back in Hunter Classic. Bye.